solve the system of equations, where, x, y, and z are real numbers. It's a system of three equations with three variables x, y, and z. The equations are symmetric in a cyclic manner. The first equation has x and y. The second has y and z. And the third has z and x. This symmetry suggests that, there might be a solution, where x equals y, equals z. As x, y and z are real numbers, so each of the radicands must be greater than or equal to zero. Hence, x, y and z must be greater than or equal to negative 16, and is less than or equal to 1. Rearrange equation 1, we have, the fourth root of, 16 plus y, equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus x. Raise the equation to the power of 4, and then rearrange the equation, we have, y equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus x, all to the power of 4, minus 16. Similarly, from equation 2, we have, z equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus y, all to the power of 4, minus 16. And from equation 3, we have, x equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus z, all to the power of 4, minus 16. If x is greater than y, then y equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus x, all to the power of 4, minus 16, which must be greater than 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus y, all to the power of 4, minus 16. 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus y, all to the power of 4, minus 16, is just equal to z. So we have, y is greater than z. This implies that, z equals 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus y, all to the power of 4, minus 16, must be greater than 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus z, all to the power of 4, minus 16. 3 minus the fourth root of, 1 minus z, all to the power of 4, minus 16, is just equal to x. So we have, z is greater than x. This means that, if x is greater than y, then y is greater than z, and z is greater than x. That is, x is greater than x. This is a contradiction. So x cannot be greater than y. Similarly, if x is less than y, then we have, y is less than z, and z is less than x. That is, x is less than x. This is a contradiction. So x cannot be less than y. x cannot be greater than y, and cannot be less than y. So x must be equal to y. Similarly, we can prove that, y must equal z. So to satisfy the system of equations, x must equal y, must equal z. Now the system of equations become a single radical equation. The fourth root of, 1 minus x, plus the fourth root of, 16 plus x, equals 3. We have made a video on solving this radical equation. Please watch it. Solve this radical equation, where x is a real number. A usual way to solve a radical equation like this, is to remove the radicals by raising the equation to the power of the index. However, for the given equation, if we raise the equation to the power of 4, the resulting equation becomes more complicated. So we will use a different method to solve this radical equation. Let a equal the fourth root of, 1 minus x, and b equal the fourth root of, 16 plus x. Then a to the power of 4, is equal to 1 minus x, and b to the power of 4, is equal to 16 plus x. a to the power of 4, plus b to the power of 4, equals 1 minus x, plus 16 plus x, which is 17. We label this as equation 1. From the original equation, we know that, a plus b equals 3. We label this as equation 2. Now we have two equations and two variables. There are different ways to solve for a and b. For example, from equation 2, b equals 3 minus a. Substitute b in equation 1, we will have a quartic equation in a. Solving a quartic equation might not be an easy task. 
we will use a simpler approach to solve for a and b. We know that, a to the power of 4, plus b to the power of 4, can be written as, a squared all squared, plus b squared all squared, which is equal to a squared plus b squared all squared, minus 2 times a squared b squared. a squared plus b squared, equals a plus b all squared, minus 2 times a b. a to the power of 4, plus b to the power of 4, equals 17. And a plus b equals 3. So we can now write, 17 equals 9 minus 2 times a b all squared, minus 2 times a squared b squared. 9 minus 2 times a b all squared, equals 81, minus 36 a b, plus 4 a squared b squared. Rearrange and simply the equation, we have, 2 a squared b squared, minus 36 a b, plus 64, equals 0. Divide the equation by 2, we have, a b all squared, minus 18 a b, plus 32, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in a b. The left side of equation can be factorized and written as, a b minus 16, times a b minus 2 which is equal to 0. So either AB equals 16, or AB equals 2. Case 1, AB equals 16. From equation 2, we know that, A plus B equals 3. So we have a system of equations. A plus B equals 3, and AB equals 16. By Vieta's formulas, A and B, are roots of quadratic equation, T squared, minus 3T, plus 16 equals 0. The discriminate of the quadratic equation, is equal to, negative 3 all squared, minus 4 times 16, which is less than 0. So the quadratic equation has no real solutions. Case 2, AB equals 2. Again, we have a system of equations. A plus B equals 3, and AB equals 2. By Vieta's formulas, A and B are roots of quadratic equation, t squared, minus 3t, plus 2 equals 0. The left side of equation can be factorized and written as, t minus 1, times t minus 2, which is equal to 0. So either t equals 1, or t equals 2. That is, a equals 1, and b equals 2. Or a equals 2, and b equals 1. As a to the power of 4 equals 1 minus x, so x equals 1 minus a to the power of 4. When a equals 1, x equals 1 minus 1, which is 0. When a equals 2, x equals 1 minus 16, which is negative 15. Now we verify whether they are solutions of the original equation. When x equals 0, the left hand side of the equation is equal to, the fourth root of 1, plus the fourth root of 16, which is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3. When x equals negative 15, the left hand side of the equation is equal to, the fourth root of 16, plus the fourth root of 1, which is equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. So x equals 0, or negative 15, are solutions of the original equation. We know that, the radical equation has two roots, 0, or negative 15. So the system of equations has two sets of solutions x y z equal 0, 0, 0, or x y z equal negative 15, negative 15, negative 15.